Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for another video on World of Warships. In this one we're looking at the Battleship of Georgia, a tier 9 battleship for the US 3. Or is she worth it? Let's have a look into it, as to be honest with you, the only way to get her now is through the odd seal or through boxes. I well, just say boxes. Containers, drops, that type of thing. So, let's have a, <clears throat> let's have a look at her survivability. 74,000 hit points, not too bad for tier 9, however it is not the best. Her torpedo protection is still the same, it's about the same as some heavy cruiser, 26%. Artillery is where it comes into a strong point of its own, with 3 times dual 457mm guns with 22.9 second reload rate, with a 51.7 second 180 degree turn time and a maximum version of 216 meters. So not bad at all, the dispersion is actually really good. Now her max range is 20 kilometers. Her HE is okay, actually it's not too bad. 6450 damage max with 43% chance of fire. And a penetration capacity of 77, so not bad at all actually. So yeah, her funny enough her HE is actually you got a higher shelf velocity than the AP, which is 800 meters a second and AP is 7. Three, two. Now the max damage for armor piercing is 15,750 so it's one hell of a max damage for armor piercing rounds. It's got quite a potent secondary battery. It has got 10 times dual 5 inch guns with 5% chance of fire with a 9.5 kilometer range. Now that's because I have secondary builder however I think I can push it to a bit further as I still have yet the full 19 point commander on her. Her airstrike is pretty standard, it's a uh, two attack base off the privateers. Her AA defense however is extremely formidable. So you've got 40 times one 20mm cannons, 16 times quad 40mm. God I love those boppers, God I love them. Then you've got your 10 dual purpose 5 inch guns, so continuous damage 463, damage by shell explosions 1944 and sector reinforcement rate is 35% with a max firing range of 5.8 kilometers. Now its maneuverability is pretty damn fast for a battleship, 33, maximum knot, 33 knots max, 890 meters turning circle and rotor shift time 16.5 seconds. So it's not the, it's fast as hell but it's Maneuverability is some, well, it is some, it's got, it's lacking a wee bit to be fair, but it's not bad, it's very, very workable. Mars Concealment is 14.8, however you can get it down depending on what way you want to build her or scale the ship. Detectability by depth, aka submarines is 10.2, air 10.2 and assured detectability is 2 kilometers, which just seems to be the normal for all ships. So equipment wise, you do get access to an enhanced repair party essentially it's got an action time of 30.8 seconds with 370 hp per second and a cooldown time of 38 seconds and you get five of them which is pretty damn good you also can carry other spotting aircraft or fighter i usually prefer to carry fighters and you also do get an engine boost which gives you a maximum speed boost of 15 percent so you're getting 36 and a half knots 37 knots in a battleship with an action time of 180 seconds, you do get three of them, which is damn good, to be very truthful with you. It really is. So, let's round up the pros. Second highest alpha damage per AP shell. Outstanding dispersion. Dispersion is amazing. It's very accurate. Fairly quick main battery reload speed. Very accurate secondaries. 33 knots top speed. The AA is outstanding, and the fact that you get an engine boost and improved repair party really does bring this into perspective how good the ship is. It does have the lowest barrel count for any tier 9 battleship. The DPM is one of the lowest due to this, however, its alpha damage is pretty high. Its main battery range is slightly abysmal compared to the other ones, usually they're about 23, 21, 23 kilometers. AP velocity is piss per, torpedo protection is per. It is very vulnerable to high explosives due to it being of an Iowa hull design and its torpedo protection is abysmal. Now some of the optimal upgrade recommendations are main armaments 1, damage control 1, secondary battery modifications, damage control modification 2, concealment system 1 and artillery plotting room. 
Personally speaking, I went for main battery modification 3, concealment system modification 1, damage control system modification 2, oops, sorry, secondary battery, damage control system 1, and main armament. Now, that's the personal way I've done it. However, some people prefer doing something, doing it whatever way they prefer. They prefer to play it. Some people prefer brawlers like me, but some people prefer a long range sniper. Now, for his commander, optimally. At the start, it is gun feeder. 40% is probably the best one to go for. However, you do get demolition expert. It's okay, not really necessary. Same as consumable specialist, emergency repair, and preventative maintenance. Not bad choices, but definitely gunner feeder seems to be the best option for it. Number two, the 2.1s. None of them really matter too much, but to be honest with you, greasing the gears is a big bonus. The same as IFHE. But you don't really use HE to be honest with you, so it's not a big deal. However, AA and SW Expert is definitely a big one, I think. Definitely has to be between Greasy Gears and AA Expert on for number two. It has to be between them two. The rest of them are pretty mediocre. In regards to number three, personally speaking, Adrenaline Rush to me is a must. Followed by either going for, if you have it, <clears throat> long range secondary shells, and potentially improved repair party readiness. To me, them two are the big ones. However, basic survivability and force fire, eh, focus fire training are very capable and very, very good to have, actually, to be truthful with you. However, for tier four, emergency repair expert and fire prevention, probably the best too, since it is an Iowa class, you will be set on fire. However, if you do wish to go for a brawling build, you go for your typical manual secondary aiming. However, it is an Iowa class, you will get set alight a lot. So, is she worth it? Yeah, she's a great credit earner. I, I think I've earned about 900,000 credits again with her to a million credits. So, yeah, 100%. If you can pick her up in a seal, if you get lucky in the drop, or if you want to save up and hope and pray, yeah, 100% go for it. Is she worth the effort? Mm, not really, it's just premium. But if it pops up, is it worth buying? Yeah, 100% that is. Anyways, with everyone, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And well, I hope you enjoyed the video on the Georgia. As I'll be honest with you, it's getting, it's getting good crack to actually be able to get back and swing a content creation now again. Especially since losing the my main desktop in Hearthstar. It's weird playing on a laptop. It really is. But it's good crack. It really is. Now that I'm used to it. Anyways, thanks again for everyone for watching. And I shall hopefully see you in-game or over on Discord.